Took a while to create this, create this one. As a matter of fact, I was still working on it as you were coming in the room. Everything else, I have systems, I have processes in place, I have VAs and so on to do the work for me. I had to do that myself. And it took a while. So let's get this party going. The training today will leave you with a foundation on how to start closing deals in the first 30 days or less. Keep that in mind. Take the information and run with it. House cleaning. We got a couple of pieces of things I need you guys to understand first and foremost. Put all cell phones on vibrate. If you don't put your cell phone on vibrate and it goes off, you're going to have to stand up and sing, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Feel my spout. Make sure you take lots of notes, and I mean lots of notes. I encourage you to soak all this information up. If you take a picture of any time during this presentation and you leave a comment on Facebook about today's meetup with the hashtag Real Deal Meetup, or if you leave a review on Real Deal Meetup Meetup site, I'm going to send you guys the presentation I'm doing today. So you're going to get a copy of today's presentation. All you need to do is take a picture anytime during this presentation, leave a comment, post it on Facebook with the hashtag Real Deal Meetup. Now, hopefully, you're going to say something good about me. If you don't say something good about me, I got a problem. I'm going to have to weigh you out. Could you set that up for me, sir? Thank you. Questions are not only welcomed, but encouraged. I feed off of your energy. I feed off of you asking, challenging, and wanting more details. If you do that, I will surely blow your mind. But if you leave it up to me, just whatever I want to go in whatever direction I want to go, you're going to be confused. You're going to say, well, what do you mean? Because I didn't raise my hand and ask a question. So please, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Unless it's a question Clifton is asking. But besides that, there's no such thing as a dumb question. I have the ultimate ethical bribe for you all. For each and every one of you who hang around to the end of the presentation, I'm going to give you my 125 page, 100K playbook. This playbook consists of Did I hear a phone? <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I thought I had one for a minute. This playbook consists of the contracts I use to buy houses. I've been using for 30 years in the business, um, hundreds of houses of purchase. It consists of contractor documents we use to hire our contractors, indemnification documents, and so on. It consists of actual questionnaires you use to talk to sellers, what questions you ask, and so on. It consists of how to hire and create a power team, how to create your, to your attorneys, how to work with your real estate agents, and so on. It consists of your business plan. I've actually give you a copy of my 59 page business plan in this manual. It consists of the LLC agreements you need to create your real estate business as an LLC in this document. It consists of scripts you'll use when creating videos for marketing. It consists of assignment contracts and I'm going to give it to you all free.
at the end of today. Exactly. Now, I don't want you to feel like this. I don't want you to raise your hand. Oh, this is too much. You have ways in which to implement information. What's the best way to eat elephant? Say it again, Cliff. The best way you consume this information is one piece of information at a time. That's it. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to start doing all of this. Just one piece of information. If you can implement a piece here and a piece there, next thing you know, you have the whole puzzle. Don't try to do it all at once. Today and each and every day, we strive to race to financial independence. Each and every one of us try that. That's the reason why we're here today. Anyone, give me a sense of what does financial independence mean to you? Cliff, I need a microphone. Anyone, raise your hand. What does financial independence mean to you? Always having money. Oh, use the microphone, Cliff, I need you. To me, uh, my name is Tony Henderson. To me, uh, financial independence will, will means and always will mean always having money. Always and having money. Always to having do whatever money. you want with it. Right. Thank you. Anyone else? I saw a hand over here and I'm coming back. Good morning. Terrence Simmons here. Financial independence to me means that my assets that are coming in far exceed my expenses. Ah, assets far exceeding expenses. Classic. Anyone else? To me, financial independence, and my name is Candace Noel, by the way, means being able to stand